In this video, I want to sketch y equals log base 5 of x take away 3. OK, so we know what log base 5 of x looks like. So log base 5 of x would have a vertical asymptote at x is equal to 0. So this is y equals log base 5 of x. And then it would look like this, and it's going to go through 1 on the x-axis. Now, what's happened from here to here is that the x is being replaced with x take away 3, and that is translating the graph 3 units to the right. OK, so it's it would be really useful to have a background in graph transformations knowledge at this point. But um, if you haven't done that yet, then... Uh, I would suggest taking a look at some basic graph transformations just to kind of get your head around them again um, if you haven't picked them up from GCSE. But if you replace that x with x minus 3, it translates it 3 units to the right. And that means that the vertical asymptote will also translate 3 units to the right. So our sketch, I'm going to start off by drawing on a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. Then your curve is going to look like this. wasn't particularly good, so something like that. OK, and I want to identify where it crosses the x-axis. Now, because I'm translating this graph three units to the right, you should be able to identify that it has to be crossing the x-axis at 4, OK, because 1 plus 3 will move us to 4. Um, algebraically, what we're doing is we're putting the y value as being equal to 0. So let's erase that. So if I put y as 0, we're going to get 0 is equal to log base 5 of x take away 3. Now going from logarithmic form to exponential form, what we do, if you haven't looked at this yet, will be 5 to the power of 0 is x take away 3. So it unravels the logarithmic form for us. So 5 to the power of 0 is x take away 3. Now, 5 to the power of 0 is 1. And then add 3 to both sides. We're going to get x is 4. So that is where the curve crosses the x-axis.